So what we're doing is uh, trying to get this grid pattern back on these pieces of stainless. These were uh, on the rear of the car and originally they had this nice grid pattern on them and uh, it was all messed up. Somebody had came in and filled in all the lines with Sharpie. They were not accurate anymore. So what we did is came in and we've stripped all the panels and now I'm laying tape to remake those lines. We're gonna shoot the gray and then we're gonna pull that tape off once it's dry and tape off the black and shoot the black on it. What we're doing right now is finishing installing the vent line on the uh, gas tank. I remade this line right here. It is the factory spec, it is supposed to look like that. We have done the main gas line, we've done the vent line, and we're waiting on 316th line to finish the return line, but this is ready to go gas line wise. We put the cross member back on the transmission. We cannot match up those uh, bushings, they don't make them anymore. So this is almost ready to go. We gotta replace the exhaust. You can see, stick my finger right in it. So we gotta replace the mufflers, and then this is gonna be ready. So here's a little update on these stainless pieces for the 63 Lincoln. Uh, I've went ahead and got all of the area that we're gonna paint gray masked so they're ready for uh, gray. And then we'll go back after that's dried and put the tape inverse so we can paint some black. But these are kind of the, uh, the look that they are before they've been all taped up in a grid. So originally these went window frames would have had a screw here and a screw, two screws down here to hold the window track to the vent window frame. Um, somebody had already done all this and they had drilled out the holes so and riveted it shut. So we couldn't actually put the factory uh, screws back in it. So we just spent the rest of this morning drilling out rivets, cutting them down, and putting this frame together. I am getting the final fitments on the uh, rubbers right now, and then we'll assemble, assemble the window. And then uh, with the other um, channel, it's uh, missing the tab that the rivet goes through. So Brad's gonna weld a washer there, and we're gonna re-rivet it, and then we'll have two vent windows. So we uh, just got all these sprayed with the gray and let it dry. So the next step is to peel off all the tape and to come back and start taping off the gray that we just sprayed. So this one I'm in the process of doing that here. Uh, eventually what that'll look like is this and that'll let us spray all the black on it. And then we'll be able to pull the tape and hopefully have a nice clean finished product. So while this weekend happened, we got the vent window in. Um, I'm drilling out the holes for the belt sweeps in the front. We're gonna put rivet the belt sweeps on, and then I'm going to install this front window. 
We contacted a parts store in Florida to see if they have the return spring, the stabilizer spring for the other vent window. So hopefully they have one and we can get the other vent window finished up. Um, and then once we get the convertible top on in the near future, we can um, finalize the adjustments on these so everything closes up the way it's supposed to and there's no leakage and all that good stuff. So we have the vent window in, we have the main window in, these are the clips to finish it up. Um, and then other than that, once we get the convertible top on, we can adjust the windows, but it's in huge progress today. Those rivets were a Uh, these are the door panel inserts and the glove box inserts. So we removed, uh, we soaked the original wood off, laminate off with a um, lacquer thinner. And then we had a cabinet maker make us um, some of these wood sheets because we don't have a planer. Um, yesterday I glued them on and I stained them. And today I am marking out and filing out all those notches. Those are the retaining notches for the uh, stainless um, trim and you can see that's a finished one I gotta drill out the holes still but this is the only one I have done I have three more to do and then I have to mark out and drill out all the holes and then stain the last one because we couldn't use this piece of laminate it bubbled because of the humidity and then we will polyurethane them and set them aside and eventually they will go back into the door panels all right, so we've got our front bow trim piece for the convertible top. Um, and we have looked all over the country for a good replacement and about the only good, good replacements are worse than what we started with. Um, I have about 20, 20 ish pictures of what it looks like before I started. Um, and as you can see up through this center section it's not looking too bad now there's some uh some some little shiny spots where the file wasn't hitting and then the ends are where it gets real ugly um and then the front side so this is this is this top portion is what shows um and then this this thin portion is what mates up to the windshield or not to the windshield but the windshield area um, which is why there's a lot of hard dings. Um, and once again, I have a lot of those for the most part out, except for the, for the ends, which I've yet to work. Um, and I'll walk you over here. So I'm setting up our newer planishing hammer to let this piece go in and straighten out. Actually, it goes, how is it? Uh, it would go in like this, and my goal with this is just straighten out this edge. Uh, it's not super vital to have this, you know, mirror finished or anything because it's never going to be shown. It'll be under material and screwed in, uh, but it'll help out with getting the rest of it nice and straight. 